from the noisiest neighborhood in the known universe. Wait for it. Welcome to Smoky Goodness on an Al Gore sort of day. And can you believe it? It's December 2nd. It's 70 degrees out here. Anyway, today we're going to uh, throw some rock lobster tails on a couple of Nature's Choice cedar planks. Smoke them up right. Really, really good. And we have some various other and sundry items for you this afternoon. It's going to be a winning combination of flavor, taste, texture, and awesomeness. Or something. I don't know. Stick around. Or we're losing our light out here, so we better get busy. On it, so stick around. Here. Makeshift drip pan. Hey, we're also going to smoke up some bacon here. This right bacon this stuff is good. Man, this is good. Thanksgiving. This is Smoky Goodness Lady made this awesome mashed potato dish using some of this Wright's bacon that we smoked up. So uh, we're doing it again. It was, uh, it was really good. So that's why we're doing the bacon. Shut up, truck. I smell. <laughs> Keep with this bacon flip. Small keep with this bacon flip. It says you have to be from Canada to do the bacon flip. No one says, that's why. I've got a saucepan here. I've got one stick of unsalted butter. Be for the lobster. To that, we're going to add the zest of one lime and one lemon. So, since I don't have a lemon zester, Take that off for a little while. All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, lobster tails in very cold water. You don't want to thaw these out in anything but the coldest water possible. So, good idea to uh, use your hand sanitizer. You're going to need it. I'm not a germaphobe or anything. But just taking precautions. <laughs> okay. First things first. Check and make sure that your uh, lobster is thawed. You should be able to bend it tail to the uh, front of the tail should bend easily. It would indicate that it is not frozen. All right. Then I worked at a steakhouse many, many years ago, which also served lobster. This is how we prepared it. 
Usually what we do is we come in right here with a uh, chef's knife. From there to there and just run the knife into it. Uh, I don't want to do that. Just because uh, I've got the time to do it the right way here with a pair of kitchen shears, which are not that sharp. Yeah, I may have to use a knife. Huh? Anyway, you're coming through the top. Slice your way through, down to this last area here, right there, perfect. You don't want to go into the fin, this tail here. And if you have time, this is optional, I guess I have the time. See these little ribs here, you can actually cut those right here on the end. That will allow the uh, shell to open up a little easier. I'm not sure I will really need to do this, but just to uh, demonstrate. Like that. And like that. Alright. And the fun begins. Open this up. Give it a little crack. Just till it cracks. Not more. All right, take the meat, run your finger underneath the bottom here. See it on all three cameras. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Should be able to. So I haven't done this in years, so bear with me. There we go. Loosen it up. Run your fingers down there. And gently work it up. I may have to open this up just a smidge more. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? It'll stand up. <laughs> All right. Do the next one. Same thing. My unsharp kitchen shears. I like to use a little paprika dusted from the heavens, as Chef Jason says. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Uh, we're going to get the planks ready. And we're going to go about five to six minutes on these. Uh, the general consensus is you want to uh, cook these at about 375 uh, for one and a half minutes per ounce. These are four ounce, so that would be what? About six minutes. But we'll keep an eye on it. You don't want to overdo it. You want leather. All right, let's get those planks ready. And as always, smooth side down on your planks. In a few minutes, get rid of the bacteria that may be on there. And get some smoking. You know all about that. We've done that a million times out here. Well, cedar now. <laughs> These little Nature's Choice burger planks are perfect for this. Just the right size for shellfish. Park you there. Park your buddy here. Like I said, about six minutes. Should be ready. Alright. We're done. Yeah, I've got some of this zested butter here, and I'm also standing in the light. Bit of that all over these lumps. Mm. Mm. Wow. 
It must be Sunday on Tornado Alley. Yeah. Let's look at all this. All right, what do we have? Huh, let's go over here. Rock lobster tails, prepared to perfection. All right, and our famous potatoes. Yeah, potatoes with the uh, bacon. That bacon that I just smoked. Yum. Got some rolls. We have some rice. And then back here it gets interesting, really interesting. Prawns. Looks like a three bean salad over there. Yes. Some corn. Corn. And uh, I don't know what that stuff is back there. <laughs> KFC. KFC. This is for the folks who don't have a seafood lover in them. And then we have a roll. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a panda salad in my country. Oh, yum. Yeah.